This is the 2020 Revel on the new VS30 Sprinter platform. Features the 3 liter 6 cylinder turbo diesel engine, 188 horsepower, on demand 4 wheel drive. New for this year is a 7 speed automatic transmission. At 19 and a half feet long and just under 10 feet tall, the Revel is an ideal off road vehicle. This one has the tire and wheel upgrade. This one happens to be the silver exterior. New for 2020 are the fog lamps with corner light function, active braking, active lane assist, adaptive cruise control. The passenger side running board has been shortened to allow the exhaust pipe to be raised up a little bit. The running boards are wider. Also new are the roll up screen doors and the roof rack is now all metal. Just under the passenger side door you can see one of the three Group 31 AGM house batteries. You can see the table. We'll take a more detailed look at that shortly. The movable ladder which comes off the back and can go down the side. Open up the back of the coach. Again, you have the roll-up screen door at the back of the coach as well. Even on both the side as well as the rear, when the screens are zipped in place, the doors will still close. You have power plugs at the rear of the coach. Then on the other side, you have a hookup for the uh, outside shower, as well as a conveniently mounted water pump switch. On the Revel, both the freshwater and gray water tanks are insulated as well as heated by the S-Bar unit. You can see additional plugs. You can see the ram mounts. That's the silver tracks that has a variety of devices to hold phones, iPads, tablets, cups. The air conditioner is one of the other options that you can get. Standard has 200 watts of solar up on the roof. There's also an input for a portable. On the coach, you have the dual pane Lexan windows. You can see the wider running boards. This is another one of the batteries. This is, would be battery number three. One and two are each located underneath the driver and passenger door. You can see the dump for the gray water tank. Also on the running boards is an area you could use it as a tether as for either a pet or for security. The exhaust pipe for the S-Bar unit it comes out underneath the running board as well. This is the new blue-gray exterior. This one has the graphics. This is the pebble gray with no graphics. Now let's hop up and take a look inside. You're noticing the new leather seats. The Artico leather cab seats. In the dash area, it has the 10 inch monitor with the Hey Mercedes. It has voice control. It has the full Mercedes navigation system, satellite radio. It has a full set of steering wheel controls. Push button start. See the backup cameras on. You can also see that it's telling me I have basically every door open on the coach. It shows you that in a couple of different locations. Again, here's all of the myriad of controls on the steering wheel. Mercedes on their site has a very detailed explanation for all of those. Temperature controls. This would be the navigation system. Some of the vehicle settings and controls. Again, Mercedes has very detailed operating instructions. Satellite radio is also included in this package. New for 2020 also is the power sliding door. It can be operated off of either the key fob, 
the button located on the lower center part of the dash. You can see the power door coming closed and shutting. Now I press the button again and you can see that the door will unlock and open. So key fob button located there. In addition, you can see there is a third switch. Also, the grab rail has been extended. It doubles as a ram mount as well as a grab rail. This is the third way to close the door. You simply punch the button located right behind the passenger seat. Door locks and closes and locks. And then it opens again if when you touch the button. So three ways to get the door open and closed. Now we take a look inside. New is this metal shelf above the cab. Excellent storage area. Some of the carryover items from 2019 are the 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator as well as all of the ram mounts, the induction cooktop. You can see all the controls conveniently located right behind the dinette. The bed is still on, can be lifted up for storage space. You still have the track lighting, the fold away sink. Positive locks on all the cabinet doors. All of the cabinets are perimeter framed, welded, coated and framed. See some additional storage baskets have been added. Ram mounts on the end of the bed as well as in the back part of the coach. Simply running the bed up into the up position. Take a look in the bath. You can see still has the removable shelves, removable hanging bar, Everything in this coach is multifunctional. Dinette, flip up table. There is a change made to the mechanism or to the table leg. You can see it's still clamped in the same place as it was in 2019. This is the leg for the exterior table. You simply unscrew the head of it and then it locks into place. Very quick, very simple. Two clips, drop this down. And again, with the screen zipped in place, you can still have the table deployed. Just a real quick demo on how to dump the black tank. Simply open the compartment. It does have a handle and wheels if you're having to take it away. Very convenient, great for off-road use. Now, let's take a look at one of the Hay Mercedes functions. Hey Mercedes. How can I help you? Navigate to Weatherford, Oklahoma. Please select an entry. The route is being calculated. Please proceed to the highlighted route. The route includes toll roads.